hypothetical scenario. What would you do with a hundred million dollars? I kidnap Roman Reigns, buy American Samoa, and make him my personal Samoan stud servant. No, Romans. And let me guess. Run your paws through his hair. Oh, yeah, bitches. Naturally. I would build an army of super Stroman soldiers, Catamius. Bron Stroman. Okay. How about some camera time for Snow Cow? How about some camera time for Panda Bears? Oh. You boys can get that for free. Clown Daniel Bryan. Of course. Make the Young Bucks my personal wrestling slaves. And? And? A lifetime supply of Kenny Omega flashlights. Don't judge me! Naturally. Ten chicks at the same time, baby. Dick, you don't need a hundred million dollars to do that. But I'd still do it. Woo! Ride the dick stone, baby. So would I. Yes, I know, she was like 68 years old, but I told her I would clean the cobwebs out that cunt. Wait, what? We're live? We're live? Right, like right now? The people can hear me and see me? Oh, God damn it! We're professionals here! You know what I'd get with a hundred million dollars? Competence help! This is Bush League! Bush League! The point is, most of us have probably thought about it at some point in time. What would happen if we struck it rich? What if somebody gave you a hundred million dollars? What would you do with it? And everybody has their own thoughts and ideas. There are a lot of things you could do with it. <laughs> but Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon says, give me a hundred million dollars and I know exactly what I'll do. I'll bring back the XFL! Because of course it would be. I guess when you have that much money, you get fuck off money. And this is clearly an example in an advancing years of Vince McMahon saying, I've got fuck off money, so fuck you, I'm going to do what I want to do, and that is get back in the football business. Oh, because after all, Vince, the XFL was such a smashing success the first time you did it back in 2001, right? Because anything Vince McMahon has ever done outside of WWE has been a smashing success, right? Just like his hockey team that folded within a year. Just like the Bodybuilding Federation, Times Square Restaurant, Niagara Falls Retail Store, oh, and most importantly of all, the XFL! Most notably, there's this significantly strong track record of other people trying to compete against the NFL and being successful, right? Like that was such a winner for Donald Trump even, right? The new XFL is going to be separate from the WWE, and there's going to be absolutely zero WWE crossover. Yet both entities are ultimately going to be run by the guy that owns the WWE. But there will be no crossover. This makes absolutely zero sense, right? There is a deep, 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 deep small part of me that hopes this works because it would be interesting to see. But the vast majority of me thinks this is an incredibly stupid idea. It's like Vince McMahon's one big addiction in life is to find ways to burn the money that he's made from the WWE. If burning almost a hundred million dollars of your own money into two failed Senate campaigns for Linda McMahon wasn't enough to get the job done, another forty or so million dollars lost from the first go-round of the XFL, now he's putting a hundred million dollars of his money at stake here. Like, there are so many other things you could do. If you want to get rid of a hundred million dollars so badly, Vince, then just take it out of the bank in all ones and fives, make a big pile, and set that son bitch on fire! Because at least then, you will save everybody involved a lot of time and energy. And we at least get some type of <laughs> bang for the buck. The XFL is back. 2020, it's coming to a town near you, you, you. 
and I can't wait to see how Vince McMahon screws this up. If you wanted to get rid of a hundred million dollars so damn bad, why didn't you just go on Twitter and float everybody some money that watches WWE? Then at least you could say it's a reinvestment in your core product, the only product that you've ever owned that you've actually ever made any money off of. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. It's like he's stuck on stupid. Let it go, Vince. Let it go. For the love of God, ugh, let it go. Shimmy, prominent. Anyways, I am the Schleg Daddy, and this is, of course, Oterra Essential. Subscribe, buy the t-shirt, and remember, it's not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. And you really need it to bring some levity and clarity to the ridiculousness of relaunching the ass.